Another update of Rising OS is here based on the latest Android version, but it's the version 2.2 of Rising OS version 2.2. And with this new version, some new changes are added, some new features are added. And we're going to talk about all of those things in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. This one is Rising OS and it's now officially rolling out for a lot of devices, although it's open source. So some of the devices already got the unofficial version. Right now, on my device, this is Pixel 7a. I've installed it. It's available for Poco F5 too, I guess. And also it's coming very soon for Poco F3 and some other devices and so on. So if you want to try it out on a device, by the way, now, right now, it's looking quite stable as compared to some previous versions. Basically, it's not that stable right now, but it's improving a lot. So yes, you can definitely check it out in case you want to. Moving on to some of the options here quickly. As you can see in the personalized section, we have similar kind of things available here and there, theming, toolbox, etc. But one of the main highlights is the lock screen customizations. We will get back to lock screen customizations very soon. Having a quick look at the theming options, toolbox, where you have the option for some spoofing things like unlimited photo storage, etc. And you can see notification section is still similar where you have the island notification customizations and nothing much in the notification section actually. But we have some similar things available in the sound section too. So yes, almost everything is similar here, but some of the major changes with this version is one of them is lock screen. You can see lock screen is also a lot of improved. You can see all the widgets which were already present in the previous version too. But with this new update, now we have the depth wallpaper support. Let me get back that or let me get back to that option soon. By the way, you can see this is the lock screen which I'm using right now. Also the in display fingerprint having new options for customization, basically new UI things available there. Here you can see depth wallpaper where you can enable the iOS inspired depth wallpaper. Even if you choose anything, for example, if you choose any image from here right now, you'll be able to notice uh, that it's not working in my case. Let me show you. As you can see, it's not working perfectly fine, unfortunately. Although, yes, uh, I guess this is the first version where we have depth wallpaper available. And similar kind of things are coming very soon in some other custom rooms too. So it's pretty much amazing that uh, with the new versions, you will get depth wallpaper support by default. So like in Project Elixir, if you want to try it out right now, you can do so. But for that, you have to pay. But if you want to try it free for now, Iconify is there, which is working fine. But in case you want to, if, if you want to explore this thing officially or basically by default in a custom room, it will take some time. For example, right now, as you can see, I'm using it on my rising OS device. It's, it's not working that much good. So yes, you have to wait for it to work perfectly fine for you. Maybe with the upcoming versions, they'll fix it very soon. Having other options here, lock screen already have some widgets available, which might which might come officially with Android 15 stable update, although it's not confirmed yet. But yes, if you still need widgets by default, Rising OS is here. It's bringing you all the lock screen widgets which you need. Big widget one and big widget two, and also four mini style widgets are present here. So yes, things are looking so amazing right now. And that's why I just told you that it's all about lock screen. A lot of things, especially if you are one of the users who love to customize your device lock screen, this custom room is definitely for you. It's not just about lock screen, by the way, it still has a lot of options and customizations available for you, but because one of the main highlights is lock screen. So that's what my all point was. Moving on to some of the user interface options, as expectedly some quick settings customizations where you have the option for quick setting panel styles, where you can enable the Android 11 style quick settings panel and some status bar options, volume panel styles, etc, etc. Inbuilt some setting styles options are present, which were already available previously too. If you want to know more about the previous changes, you can check out my previous video on Rising OS 2.1. So you get an idea. Also, the spoofing options are kind of similar where you have the option for navigation and quick switch. The quick switch is not working. Navigation is there. Similar kind of options. Quick switch. Why it's not working because of the launcher in the last two or three versions before there was nothing launcher there. So that's why it was included. Although with new QPR2 updates, nothing launcher is not present right now. That could be one of the reasons it's not present, but that might be added soon. So yes, these were things I just wanted to let you know. It's all about the lock screen, but also including that some UI changes, some features. 
and a lot more things. So if you want to try it out on a device, link is already available in the description. If you want to know more, make sure to comment below. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.